Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and you are watching part four of my question and answer video series. You guys sent in a ton of questions. I'm still working my way through them, so thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for the questions. Let's get started. First question comes from Big Daddy Smith. Can you play games or do Let's Plays? Well, I don't know. I mean, I can. I don't think there's a huge audience for that among my viewers. If there is, you guys can let me know, and I might be able to do that. I already made a gaming channel, which I, is now mostly defunct because I stopped working on it. I, I just kind of lost interest in it and didn't have enough time. But I do have the, the technological means to do that kind of video. So if you guys want me to, I might. You guys can let me know in the comment section, but I can't make any promises. I don't know if I'm going to get into doing any sort of videos like that. But it's not a bad idea, and I have thought about it. The other thing is, I don't play a ton of games. I play a few games seriously, like Halo. I'm all about Halo. You guys already know that. And, and a couple others, but I don't play a huge amount of games. So I don't know, I don't know if that will pan out. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Alright, here's a good question. I'd love to talk about this. This is from Raider Fabio. Do you agree with those who keep the figures inside their boxes even if they're not going to sell them? There are plenty of forum topics about it. Yes, there are. That is probably the most heated debate between collectors, between the people that care about it anyway, mock collectors, mint on card collectors, or mint in package collectors compared to people that are loose collectors. And here's the thing, if you're collecting with the purpose of increasing your financial, oh, I just lost my train of thought as I was talking. So if you're collecting with the purpose of making money, we'll just make it nice and simple, then sure, keep them in the package. And if you're going to sell them, which that's the idea, then you want them in the package. They're going to have the most value in the package. That makes sense. But to me, that's not really a collector. That's a person who's investing in something with the I, with the plan to make money from it. That's it. So if you're a collector who's not planning to sell but you keep stuff in the package, my opinion is you're missing out. I understand that a lot of the times the packaging is artistic. It looks nice. It looks cool. Like a lot of the import figures in particular, they have window boxes with nice artwork. They look really cool. So I can appreciate why you might want to do that, or even the Marvel Legends. I can I appreciate the appeal to keep them in the package, but there's so much more appeal to taking them out. So for me, there's no question. Unless it's like a super rare thing or something I can get a double of fairly easily, I open everything. There are only maybe five, maybe five figures that I don't have doubles of that I still have in the package, and that's just because they're easily faked, and having them in the package proves that they're the official thing and that kind of thing. So for me, taking them out of the package is where it's at. So it's not a matter of agreeing, well I guess it's agreeing or disagreeing, so I disagree with people that keep them mint on card or mint in package because they're missing out on almost all of the fun of the figure. But I understand why, and everybody's got their own thing, so if you want to do that, by all means do it of course, but it's not for me. Okay, here we go. This is a good question. Bloodpool18. What are your favorite and least favorite comic book movies? And what movie, video game, comic book, etc., etc., uh, do you want to be made? So my favorite comic book movies are The Avengers and the Marvel ones that lead up to that. But The Avengers in particular, I think... And I know there's a huge amount of debate over this. So if you guys want to flame me in the, video, in the comments, go ahead. If you are reasonable about it, I won't remove the comment, but if I don't like what I'm seeing and it's going to ruin the environment for everyone else, I'll remove the comment. So don't be a jerk about it. But for me, uh, Avengers is the best comic book movie by a mile. Uh, in addition to the Avenger and Marvel mashup that led to that, I also like at least the first and maybe kind of the second Blade movies. I think the first Blade was great. I think Wesley Snipes is to Blade what uh, Robert Downey is to Tony Stark. I think that worked out perfectly. Super good. Uh, Superman was good for me, but it, it wasn't, it didn't have as much depth. It was a whole lot of over-the-top and very similar action, and I thought 
too unrealistic. And I don't mean in the sense that, yeah, there were aliens in Avengers. I understand that. Superman's an alien himself. But there was just so much destruction that it, it, it took away from the movie for me. So that's not... It's, it's in the middle for me. And then my least favorite of the big name uh, comic book movies, we're not even going to talk about the Fantastic Four or the second Ghost Rider movie because those were... Um, they're not even on the list. And this is going to get me a lot of flame, but if you were watching my videos way back when this came out, the Dark Knight trilogy, I think it wasn't very good. The first movie was pretty good, the second movie was pretty good, I thought the third movie was horrible. I'm not going to go into it too much, and I know most of you will disagree with me, but that's the answer to the question. And what do I want to have made? I would love to see more Blade movies. If, with a little bit of a bigger budget, but Wesley Snipes is getting old, so that's kind of a problem. Um, as far as comics, that's really it as far as the movies go. But uh, video game, without a doubt, Halo and Mass Effect and Gears of War. I think those all, <coughs> excuse me, those all lend themselves perfectly to the, to the big screen. I, I think they would be great. And of course, Halo being my main priority, but I think those would all be perfect. So that was kind of a long question. Gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> I drank too much Mountain Dew. That was a long answer to a relatively simple question. But, there you go. <sighs> Here we go. This is a good one from my buddy Mark, who's a customer and also the guy who provided me with the Red Pool from Europe. And his question is, what childhood action figure slash toy line would you like to see get the 21st century treatment? Well, I would say the... Uh, Iron Man and X-Men and Marvel Toy Biz figures, but we're pretty much getting those through Marvel Legends. So I, that's okay. There is one in particular, though, which I would love to see a new version of, because I'm really fond of Iceman. I like Iceman a lot. And there was one, and I think it was called the Crystalline or Crystalline Armor Iceman. He had kind of a smoothed over face, kind of a pointy chin. He was a darker blue compared to the lighter blue Iceman that had gotten released earlier with similar mold. And he had removable, a giant ice hand and a giant ice, like, spiky thing. And big, like, ice feet that he could add on. But he was translucent blue and really cool looking. And I would love to see that turn into, if we could get a new Iceman Marvel Legends figure, that was really badass looking. That'd be really cool. Uh, and also Beast Wars. Uh, we're kind of getting those in the form of the Transformer Generations figures, but some new Beast Wars of some more characters I would really love. And then his other question is, what characters from that line uh, would I like to customize if I got the chance? So I'd like to make a cool Iceman like that, but it's really hard to make. I can't make translucent plastic. I don't cast or mold things. So I'd have to sculpt it and paint it like I did my uh, Sub-Zero figure from Mortal Kombat. Ice doesn't work well with paint. It, it looks okay, but it's not nearly as cool as being molded clear. So I can't really do that, unfortunately. So that's kind of a... A bittersweet answer. Alright, how about this? Here's a good question. Joseph Flores, how do you go about getting a replacement figure for a Play Arts Kai figure, for example, for example, General Zod, because that's what he needs a replacement for, if it broke or came defective? The easy answer for that is buy from a place you trust. For example, Big Bad Toy Store, if you get a defective figure, they will replace it for you. You don't get to keep the broken one. You'll have to send it back, but they'll send you a new one. Simple as that. You buy on eBay, odds are you're not going to get a replacement. You buy from somebody that you just know from the internet, probably not going to get a replacement. Buy from a trusted site, an established site that will have stock of the item. If the store doesn't have any extra stock of the item, which is often the case with import sites, you're not going to get a replacement more than likely. So buy from a place that you know will be able to take care of you, and then if you have a problem, email customer service or custom, customer support. Problem solved, which I've done tons of times. Uh, Juan Ortiz wants to know who my favorite figure in my collection is. I've already gone through that, so check back to one of the other videos if you want to see that. And if I could make any company make a figure what company and what figure will it be or would it be? That's a good question. I would really like to see, and I think we will be seeing soon, some more Nintendo characters from Bandai. I think 
Well, I think Bandai hasn't made any yet other than the Pokemon. I'll have to check on that. But either way, I want to see more Nintendo figures, especially Mario, Donkey Kong, and Ganondorf. Ocarina of Time Ganondorf, preferably. But I would love to flush out, flesh out my uh, Super Smash Brothers collection, so I would really like that. And then, we already have a lot of Halo stuff, so I'm not really going to ask for any new Halo stuff, because we're already going to be getting plenty of that. Here's a question from Songju An, or An, I'd probably pronounce that wrong, but we'll see, I mean, I don't know. What is your favorite figure that you have kept for a long time, even from childhood, that gives memories of when you first started collecting? So that's not really my favorite figure, obviously, since it's way back from childhood. And that would be, it's either that Iceman figure that I mentioned, or my Beast Wars. Most of my Beast Wars I got as a kid, but when I was old enough to have money from birthdays and small jobs and things like that to buy my own stuff. So my Beast Wars collection is probably what I would pick for that. Any, not any particular figure, but the Beast Wars collection would be what makes, takes me back to my good old days. <sighs> Jose Calderon wants to know who my favorite Marvel character is. I think I answered that in the last video. Maybe the second to last video, but I already answered that. Sean Salazar wants to hear my process on customs. And I'll break it down really quick. I figure out what will be the best parts to use, with the exception of super expensive or super rare figures, because not only does it add to the cost of the custom unnecessarily in most cases, but it also takes that figure off the market for somebody that wants that figure. There's nothing that bothers me more than people that use really rare figures for customs. I hate that. So I pick out the parts I need, I get the parts, I prep them in terms of joint wear and things like that, and then I do any sculpting I need, sanding, washing, and then paint. That's the super fast version of that. And you guys know it's not fast because you saw my Watch Me Paint videos. That part alone takes forever. Alright, let's move on to OJ is good 13. You should take the Play Arts Kai Robin and turn it into Nightwing. I didn't read that thoroughly. That's not a question. So, probably not going to do that. Plus, that figure is pretty crappy. Here's a question kind of from camo killer 11 he wants to know my thoughts about the infinite series of amazing, amazing spider-man figures he posted this prior to me doing the reviews i think so you guys already know my thoughts but i think overall it's a step in the right direction in a big way for hasbro we've gotten a lot of pretty poor figures lately most of those figures are at least average to really good so i think they're great most of them, and I'm really happy that they're moving in the right direction. This person asked for a shout out because they only have three subscribers. That's not a question, so no. No. Whoever you are, you know who you are. It's not happening. Okay, this is a question I kind of already touched on from 12WTF Dude. 34. He wants to know my thoughts on the Man of Steel and the upcoming sequel featuring Batman and Wonder Woman alongside Superman. Well, I did like Superman. I didn't think it was super good. I thought it was really a really solid film. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with it. I think it's okay that they're adding other characters. I think it's going to be really hard for them to do that effectively, not having the characters already established the way Marvel did. So... I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it, and I'm holding my judgment until I see it. I think it could be either really good or really bad. We'll see. Last question for this video is from Mega Mellow Man 123. Do you collect statues as well as action figures? Kind of. I have maybe three, four, something like that. I don't really do statues. I like to be able to interact with my stuff, so if I can't pose it, I don't typically collect it, and I think every statue I have, pretty sure they're all Halo related, because Halo is my big title. So that's it, so I only have a couple, so I don't really collect them. I mean, I guess technically I do, but I don't buy statues, because the cost to fun is not, that ratio is not there for me. 
I like interactivity. So that'll do it for that video, guys. That's part four. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more parts because you guys still have a ton of questions to go through. So thanks for all that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for custom figures, figure reviews, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.